Hi everyone and welcome back. So let's now talk about build, release and run. So we are talking about 12 factor application using express TypeScript and we have covered a couple of things here. We are talking about dem demo and code examples. So we are talking about build, release and run. So these are like uh, all the 12 factor principles and now we are trying to understand like what is build and what is release and they should be totally segregated this is the principle and how we can achieve it using express typescript because this is your code base let's say this is my express typescript app because this is typescript so you need a build you need a build step right so there is a build will happen then if you are just going to deploy this <coughs> as a package to remote repository then you will have another step that is called release or you can call it as a deploy also and in between deploy and build you can also run some prerequisite steps like test so test will make sure that everything is good and then you can deploy it to dev productions and staging these should be totally segregated and supported by the application this is what 12 factor app is talking about so here we can see that uh, I have MongoDB container up and running. This is simple MongoDB URL I put in env.development and I can start my application CD apps and I'm looking into this particular application npm npm run start dev we will use a development right and you can see this application has been is running right now on port 3002 now what all other uh, things which we are planning to add the first is this having these di different stages so we already have this build step so whenever we are going to deploy we will always do npm run build we can also use a test test is looking for spec files so npm run test we don't have a linters because that is available at the root of the project okay i think we can add uh, ignore pass with no test if there are no tests available then it will not terminate the you can see the exit code is now zero without this flag exit code was one so if you if you were doing it something like this it will break the pipeline but now it will say okay you don't have any tests i will allow you to pass so npm run test npm run build and uh, you can also verify uh, the node version that we are already doing at the root level uh, here prepare we can use like we can just define the the versions using we are already using this module fbgs script so we can specify the versions and the engines okay what is the engine it should be supporting that we can specify here that it should be nothing less than 14.x and to check this if you are following this we can have a check engine script so if i try to do in at the root dot in this project npm run check engines is it doing something yes it is checking because my version is following that 16.x so it will allow me so these kind of uh, checks you can have you can also have nvmrc and specify your version that i'm using 16.x and all okay and because these applications will be deployed independently so but these are in mono repo so that is another different things let's talk about uh, all these uh, steps using github actions so what we can talk about is all these build and all we can use github actions it's nothing but uh, like we have a GitLab, GitHub, Bitbucket, they have they provide their own managed solutions to run the CI CD. So that whenever you wanted to run uh, build steps and uh, you build, test, and deploy, all those things you can write in the configurations and everything will be done when you uh, merge to a particular branch like dev, master, or uh, testing branch. So there are uh, many possible ways of uh, doing this thing let's say we have i mean that is depends on what ci cd solutions you are using because it's a continuous integration and continuous delivery and we can use 
GitHub Actions, GitLab CI, Circle CI, Jenkins, if you have heard about Jenkins, all these are CI solutions, CI and CD. They will do the continuous integration and continuous deployment. Here we can talk about simple GitHub Actions. So for that, we will create a GitHub folder. New folder GitHub. And inside that, we can create a workflow. And workflows, let's say I will just add a checks.yml. So you can add some checks, like whenever you are opening a pull request or when you are synchronizing, these checks will run. And the syntax is pretty much simple. I mean, if you try to read and understand what we are doing here is when the pull request is opened, you can oh, oh, add another actions also like whenever the pull request opened or synchronized, what it will do is it will use this uh, checkout. I mean, it will just try to create the container for you. We use node 14. It will set up the NPM. Uh, we don't need this registry set up npm install dependencies okay so npm ci it will do i think we can remove this particular step install dependencies and test npm ci npm run test npm run build right the checks we have added so whenever i add this and i commit this then these checks will start executing that depends on what trigger you have added so you can see pull request similarly there should be something like merge request i'm just thinking it should be there or look into your github actions document so here we will check the syntax if it is correct like merge request pull request or if there is anything we need to add okay and then you can have other configurations also which you wanted to add inside the workflow checks and deploy right so for deploy what you will do is you will build the code and then you will just deploy it to maybe a heroku or a lambda or something so you need to have some script there is already a plugin available with the github actions for the heroku but let's say you are deploying it to aws azure and all for that you need to write a custom script that we are going to talk about when we talk about microservice deployment like using aws cdk to as a lambda or inside a ecs container for now just try to understand what are these stages build uh, test deploy build publish or uh, stage these are like different stages different steps these can be orchestrated as a ci cd steps like okay i am doing a build i am installing the dependencies then i am running the test and i am running the build so these can be even different different steps npm install and this can be another step is install run test so npm test right before that ci we can do the build so these will be the ci steps build code npm run build and these are your package json scripts npm run build npm run test so i corrected some uh, mistakes like uh, some mistakes in the yml First of all, I have changed the, the rule to run these on push on the branch main, it will trigger. I mean, obviously, if you want to have it for the merge request and do it currently, I'm just playing with this on push on the branch main, then we are going to run this. And here, uh, this is checks, which is going to run first and then de development. Development is just verifying the 14.x. And it is just doing npm run build. Okay, so I will just checking the, the errors which are coming. So first of all, setting up the job. It's like it is running the deploy dot. So if you see the actions which ha has been defined, whenever you do the commit and you post that on to the main branch, it is executing this checks.yml. Every step must define use or run key that I have already fixed. The following use of okay this, these are not the latest one because i know one action has triggered so let's see that 
two minutes. So let me try to see what the maximum call stack exceeded. What's the problem here? Here we are setting up node 14.x. Check out is fine. Post checkout complete job. Uh, it's not giving with complete information what actually failed. So process completed the following action uses node 12. That's just a warning. We can skip that. So let me try to fix this, what it is about. So it is using node 12, node 14. And we are doing build npm run install. So here uh, the problem is because uh, we are using pnpm, right? In the code, if you see, we are using pnpm and it works fine. If I just do pnpm run build pnpm run build it will it will just build all the projects recursively and then pnpm install these are the commands which will run for our workspace so to enable that uh, we cannot use we have to somehow use pnpm as a package manager and i am looking here i can install something like this i need to change the action to the pnpm uh, i think this should work it's using uh, node.js version let me just try to use this on push and this is a job you will change it accordingly these are checks and install check out action pnpm so it is going to install pnpm package manager for us we don't need this pnpm store right we can skip this action set up pnpm cache restore keys let's keep them store path but we are not passing that okay so i can just remove this for now and i will just add install dependencies and install run build npm run build let's try to see this i will oh no i will just clone this thing git status git add commit minus m ci yml files updated git push origin mean and let's try to see the CI setup now. So now you can see the install step is passing. So that's a good news for me. That's what I want. It's just only that uh, I was not using the correct package manager. This is using PNPM, not NPM. So obviously that will fail. And I have added this custom script here to build all the projects together. And that is PNPM minus R build. It will recursively build all the, the workspace projects I have. Okay. So, I mean, this is all about uh, the 12 factor app that whatever you are deploying. Currently, this is a workspace, PNPM workspace, not an individual API service. It has uh, lots of projects inside it and I'm maybe I'm just deploying some of them. So, this is what you can do. Because here we are using Monorepo. And here I can see the final output. Everything is good, right? Cache and install and I can see some green signals on my workflows. Both are passing. Okay, so this is just a, like a small glimpse how we do it. Uh, you can create a different different YML file like similarly we can create a deploy.yml. The objective of deploy is to deploy to the Heroku, AWS, Azure, maybe as a Lambda or something. You can have a local script inside, inside these workspace only which will allow you to deploy the code. Okay, that we will see. But this is what uh your ci should look like because we haven't talked about cd which is continuous delivery ci continuous integration which is doing installing the dependencies creating the final binary using npm run build and then finally just synchronizing the code to either ec2 container and deploying the lambda using cdk stack 
all those things we are going to cover okay so this is all about how we can segregate these stages or steps npm run build npm run test i mean i can create a test script also here which is going to test all the projects together but only the thing is i need to check uh, do we have the test script everywhere or not right otherwise it will break so if i do uh, npm run test will it work because not in each and every project i have this jest installed it's running that is fine but here they don't have jest so exit status it, it has exited similarly if you wanted to just check build test you can also do the lint because we already have this prettier and all npm run npm run lint okay i need to run this prettier right This can also be part of your CI steps. Okay. And here you can see it. lots of file I have changed. So I will add them. Why this build is going? That is something wrong I'm doing, right? So if you just do these packages. Why I don't have a git ignore file here? Remove the build. That, that is not part of your code base. That's a final outcome. So what you need to do is you need to update your git ignore file if it if you have it here looks like we don't even have the git ignore file that's really bad have git ignore file and we already excluding the build dist folder uh, let's see now it should be deleting all of these okay git add git commit npm run prettier right these can be a ci steps to validate the code formatting okay git status npm run lint now this is passing perfectly fine why it's not uh I already have these husky and these hooks already added why oh, it's not utilizing that hmm okay that's strange let me just set npm run prepare git husky hooks are already there so what is the problem then okay the hooks are not there so that's the problem so what I will do is I will try to add the hooks from my existing project I will add the hooks here which is commit message pre-commit and all and if I try to do this now yes then the hooks will come into the picture it will check for the formatting and all so we can add this in the CI also and we can add this in the as a husky hook also which is going to add as a git hook so whenever you are trying to add a git commit then it will just check this so what we have done here added package so it's like a npm script it'd be added npm scripts for tests and lint or whatever you have done and then git push or reason main so this is how you can segregate uh, the task now the next big thing we will do is we are going to expand these workflows and to deploy these this service the nest.js or this node.js express typescript apps as a lambda using cdk and so we are done with this thing uh, which i was talking about 12 factor like segregating the build release and these steps using ci and then using cd processes processes is like currently for the node.js app we always create a standalone single process and then we can also use some worker process that we will try to understand with the help of pm2 uh, in the next video.